how to make this adaptive panel with dynamic attractor point in Revit, without using the dynamo, no complicated script and formula needed, in just simple steps. Without wasting too much of your time, let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick five reference points as shown. Select this four reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Then select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Select this plane. Then pick reference point. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Select instance. And check reporting parameter. Name it. Attractor distance. OK. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Repeat the process. Next. Select this four reference lines. Then select create form. Select the solid. Go to positive offset. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Height. OK. OK. Uncheck shared. Then check always vertical. Save the family. Name it. Adaptive cube. Save the family. Save as the family. Name it. Adaptive 4 cube. Save. Select the form. And delete. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Next, select point element. Pick three reference points as shown. Next, select the three reference points. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Select this plane. Then pick reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. A D2. OK. Repeat the process. Next, go to Insert and select Load Family. Select the Adaptive Cube. Open. Expand the families. Select and drag the Adaptive Cube. Placement Plane. Select Level 1. Select Place on Face. Pick four reference points as shown. Endpoint Pick here. Select the Adaptive Cube. Go to Height. And select Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Height 1 or H1. OK. OK. Go to Family Types. Select New Parameter. Name it. 
attractor divisor. Type of parameter select integer. Let's group it under dimensions. Select instance, OK. Select attractor distance. Then select edit parameter. Rename it to 81. OK. Select 81. Move parameter up. Change the attractor divisor value to 15. And let's link the H1 parameter to the attractor by adding the formula. A D1 over attractor divisor. Select the height parameter. Then select edit parameter. Rename it height 2 or H2. OK. Then link the H2 parameter to the attractor. By adding the formula as shown. Create two more parameters for H3 and H4. OK. Select wireframe. Select and drag the adaptive cube. Pick four reference points as shown. End point pick here. Select the adaptive cube. Go to height. And select associate family parameter. Then select the H2. OK. Repeat the process to complete the four cubes. Save the family. Next. Open a new family. And select metric generic model pattern based. Open. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select point element. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. OK. Select the reference point. Change the offset value to 1000 millimeters. Then select associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Offset. OK. OK. Select the circle. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Draw a circle. Select the circle. Then check his reference line. Dimensions. Select diameter dimension. Select the circle. Change the scale to 1 is to 20. Then select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Diameter. OK. Select point element. Pick three reference points at the circle. Next. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Associate family parameter. Select instance. Name it. NCP1 OK OK Select this reference point Normalized curve parameter Associate family parameter Select new parameter Select instance Name it NCP2 OK OK Repeat the process
select this four reference lines. Then select Create Form. Select the surface. Select the surface. Then select the Divide Surface. Pick this small arrow. Check the nodes. OK. Go to U Grid Number. And select Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. U Grid. Select Instance. OK. OK. Go to V Grid Number. And select Associate Family Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. V Grid. OK. OK. Go back to Adaptive 4 Point Cube. Load into Project and Close. Placement Plane. Select Level 1. Then select Place on Face. Pick 4 nodes based on Adaptive Points number. Start Point Pick here. Fifth point pick here. Sixth point pick here. Seventh point pick here. Eight point pick here. Select the adaptive cube. Attractor divisor. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Attractor divisor. OK. OK. Then select the repeat. Go to family types. Let's test the parameters. Change the NCP value to 0.3. Change the NCP value to 0.6. Change the NCP value to 0.1. Apply. Perfect. Let's try to change the U grid and V grid number to 15. Apply. Perfect. OK. Save the family. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.